Bonjour. 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 Comment ça va? Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Uh, maman, dad, um, James, Carlos, Peggy. Uh, I sincerely thank you for letting me to visit your family and uh, share the word of God during this uh, season of Lent. Thank you so much. Uh, thank shall you. Shall we begin? In the name of the yeah. Father, yes. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And with your spirit. Spirit. May I request uh, Peggy to read the Gospel for us. The Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 17 to 30. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only spoke, he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you. The hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just. Because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We will take a moment of silence and meditate upon the Gospel reading we just heard now. You know, very often, whenever I met with Carlos, we speak a lot about uh, Portugal, you know. So, that's where, you know, Carlos' uh, birthplace. And I do believe when he tells about Portugal, because he's from there, and I can understand, because India received the first missionaries from Portugal. All the Jesuit missionaries who came to India were all from Portugal. Um, it was uh, Vasco de Gama, the, uh, the Portuguese uh, sh ship crew, who found, uh, discovered India first. Therefore, uh, I know a lot by speaking to him because he's from there. Mm. And uh, I do believe, and his words are true because he's from there. 
when jesus talks about god you know when jesus talks about god we know that he has seen the father he is from the father and therefore we don't have any doubt about when he tells about the father but it was hard for the pharisees and the scribes and religious leaders to accept the words of christ because how can no one can see the father no one can ever can see the face of god no one has ever seen the face of god all that they people have know is the voice of god and uh, how he spoke through the prophets and the people of god people of men of god otherwise no one ever know the thoughts and the heart of god but whereas jesus talks as if he knows the father very well uh, very well as if he has been there with him as if he knows exactly what the father is thinking therefore people thought that he got he's gone mad and uh, it is a blasphemy when you say uh, things against the scripture and especially speaking about god calling god as equal to yourself is a blasphemy he is liable for death punishment so they could not wait to kill jesus and get rid of him but jesus own words will tell us that i am not doing anything on my own everything that i do it's the father's will i cannot do things on my own i have no power to do things on my own everything that i have the father has to given me the power even to raise the dead to judge the people all the rights has been given to me by my father therefore i am in father the father is in me i do not act on my own uh that way we see the unity between god the father and god the son mm. it is the unity that they were able to accomplish great things jesus not only did wonderful things through father but he also was a obedient son even unto death so sometimes our uh, unity is not only when everything is going on good you know even in struggles we have to stand together even in hardships we have to stand together that is a real unity that was found in father and the son so it seems like uh, jesus underwent punishment by carrying the cross but jesus is actually accomplishing a mission that god has given to him so carrying his cross undergoing the suffering is the will of the father he was obedient unto death therefore they were always together in mind thoughts hearts actions and words we as a christians how are we you know are we united with our father are we able to do the will of god in our life or do we always tend to do what we want in our lives so we need to learn from the unity of uh, god the father and the son for ourselves in our family in our uh, workplace in our church in our country in our society we want that kind of unity united in heart <coughs> mind and soul yeah for for us it's easy to believe in jesus because we saw the old picture we saw from the beginning jesus dying and the resurrection but they were living in that moment they do not know what will happen tomorrow mm -hmm. they did not see it yeah. there were therefore it was hard for them to believe and also their minds are closed they have closed their heart to see the wonders that jesus was doing therefore they were it, even it was hard for them to see um, god in uh, jesus they have closed their hearts mm -hmm. it will be hard for us to if we have closed our hearts uh, towards jesus uh, and his wonders we will not know we cannot understand but if we open our hearts and mind we will see and be able to understand and believe everything that jesus is telling us here yeah. And the, the Pharisees and the, and the scribes, um, 
had a hard time believing in Jesus, they, to them it was passed down from Moses. Yes. The fact that Moses, to them, Moses was the only person that they actually knew that spoke to God. Yes. So, and through the generations, that all the, you know, all of that was told to them. So they were kind of stuck there. Yes. Yes. Uh, so when, all of a sudden Jesus shows up, yeah. and it wasn't familiar to them that you know that, so they couldn't believe that he was from God, because yes. uh, the only like I said Moses was the only one that they believed spoke to God. So they were gonna Moses's laws yeah. was what they were gonna follow. Yes. So they were kind of stuck there. Yes. And they cannot understand or accept that someone else greater than Moses is is here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So for them, Moses was the greatest person because he saw face of God. Mm -hmm. Because Moses said it was so bright like a sun, you know, that he needed a veil to because his face was so shining because he saw God. It must have been real tough also for those people to try to understand because you had gossip and rumors just like you have now yeah. that uh, as far as they were concerned, uh, this would be a false god yes. claiming to be Jesus. Yes. That was a sacrilege. So those that were locked into Moses' theory, they saw this as a false god. Yes, sir. Yeah. So... That's why they want to kill him. Blasphemy. Yeah. Yeah. He's speaking against God. Blasphemy <laughs> is against uh, uh, you know, the law of God and uh, liable for punishment. Anyone who claims themselves as a God or a son of God are liable for punishment. Mm -hmm. so. That's why I think in many instances that, as for me, I speak for myself, is that it wouldn't be for Sister Faustina. Yes and her chaplet of divine mercy yeah. where we have to learn to be merciful because unless you've walked in somebody else's shoes and know where you come from and stuff it's pretty hard to be judgmental yes but the prayers the most important prayers to us christians is the our father and the apostles creed yes if you meditate on those yes it's all there yeah all in a nutshell yes. Very clearly said uh, yeah? in the uh, Apostle Creed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch, uh, we were watching the WTN yesterday, and uh, uh, Brother Leo, he's, uh, he always has a group of young kids there, and he was uh, showing them to, to hang on to, to God. You have to hang on to Jesus. Yeah, because if you can, you know, if you don't hang on, so to express that, he had a rope going up over the okay. water uh -huh. and uh, with a thing to hang on to. He says, you have to, that's Jesus there. The bar was Jesus. Okay. So he's going up and down and all of a sudden, he lets go, he okay. falls in the water. Okay. So he says, you have to hang on to Jesus because if you don't, you could drown. That's a good example, huh? <laughs> that is a very nice example. Yeah, yeah. so cute. To For the little ones. Kids. Yes, yes. So they were watching that and they were, they were all going excited. like, Every time he'd go, they'd go, then all of a sudden he falls in the water. <laughs> he lets go of going Jesus. And they were trying to pull him because of the sag in the cable. Yeah, yeah. And he would slide back, so he would take another plunge at it. Swing, yeah. And after a while, he got sore and he had lost yeah. his grip. So that I'm sure so the kids that is, appreciated it's, it's that you don't analogy. let go of Jesus. Yes, yeah. great analogy too. Yeah. I thought that was a nice thing to tell young kids yes. to express there that you have to hang on to Jesus. Yes. And sometimes you get frustrated because you ask for something and you don't get it. Yeah. And we don't understand why we can't get it yeah. because we want it so bad. Yeah. And we're praying and we're asking Jesus and yeah. it doesn't happen. Yeah. Uh, so you just want to... Give up. 
let go, you know. Give it up. And uh, it's not better if you let go. Because But God also can say no, right? Right. God, that's a God's way of saying no. Mm -hmm. It's not meant for you, yeah. you know. So what well, just like just like the Pharisees couldn't grasp that Jesus was the 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 the, the, the son of God. Um we ask for you know we pray yeah. and we ask for things and we think that God didn't answer our prayer. Yeah. And sometimes he does and we don't recognize yes. that answer yeah. because it didn't come exactly the way we, we wanted, wanted it. it. Yes. So the prayer was answered but we didn't recognize it. Just like the Pharisees couldn't recognize Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, we don't recognize those answered prayers because God didn't present them exactly the way we wanted them to be presented. Uh, and, and sometimes you recognize it later that your prayer was answered uh, in a different way. In a different way, yeah. exactly. Sometimes even better way than we ask for, yeah. We, we also have to see all the things that uh, God has given you and without asking, we asking for, you know. Right. We never asked for your parents, you know. Yeah. You know, they were all given by God. We can never choose our parents, you know. Right. So we can choose our friends and spouses, but parents are God's own gift for us. Mm. So, uh, we are thankful that God had given uh, wonderful parents even without uh, asking us. You know. Yeah. So that that also we have to count as a blessings, not only asking what we want and not receiving and uh, getting upset and uh, wanting to give up in our prayer, but also have open heart to see the blessings we already have. We forget yeah. the that we do have many gifts. Already, yeah. And it, you know, for me, it's been my experience that when I stop and I thank God for the blessings, it's like after a while, it's like wow, you know, there's so many of them. I, you know, and I wouldn't, I, I know, hadn't, hadn't really thought about it. Gratitude, I think, is is a key in for many instances, and it brings us. When we're grateful, it also brings us peace. Yes. And when you, when you recognize that you have so many blessings already, you tend not to ask for you know yes. you tend you're you're asking what you're asking of God slows down. Yeah. You ask for less and less mm -hmm. when you recognize what you already have. Because um, a lot of the, a lot of our prayers are are asking God for something. Yes. Uh, we spend more time asking God for something yeah. than we do thanking Him for what we already have. Exactly. Um, so when you recognize what you already have, you tend to ask a lot less. Yes. Yeah, I told you, Carlos knows a lot. <laughs> Yeah, he does. Yeah. He's a pretty wise man. Yes. What do you do? You like to share with me what you do for Lent? For a, like a penance? Yeah, or? anything. What is the Lenten practices? Yeah. Well, me, what I'm trying to do is say my uh, uh, the the way of the cross. The, the way of the cross. cross. Stations of the cross. I, I walk down the hall and oh. I, because I have a station of the cross there, and that's what I, I do. <coughs> At the same time, it gives me, makes me walk. Yes. And uh, I do the stations of the cross on my own. And For me, I'm <clears throat> kind of spoiled, and I was, there's a cabin fever time, you know. I like to be in the garden, I like to be outside, I like to do outdoor work. But, uh, <clears throat> I get cold a lot easier. So I found myself an old stationary bike, you know, pedal. And I thought that, how am I gonna determine the length of pedaling that I do? And I used to count, you know, one, two, three. 
So this past week, what I've been doing is doing my rosary by pedaling, oh, wow. and then joyful mysteries and sorrowful mysteries, and uh, it's about the same amount of time as yeah, yeah. uh, seven hundred revolutions of pedaling. Spiritual exercise. It's good exercise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good for you to get some exercise too. Hmm? James, what do you do for Lent? Yeah. The Chip. usual. Every year it's the same. Yeah. I don't eat sweets and yeah. I don't eat between meals and and a bunch of other things. And meanwhile, I tried to I, I gave up sweets and I'm I do pretty good. Every once in a while I get tempted. And I haven't been like 100% there. I've fallen a few times, but I try to not to do des not to do desserts. And um, I added more. Ro I'm doing more rosaries. Yeah. And I I, I always do the station the chaplet of divine mercy, and I do a chaplet for the holy souls. That's something I've been doing for years. Yeah. I still do those, but I added extra rosaries. Yeah. I, I do the extra mysteries. It's just like resolutions. Yeah. You do a resolution at the first of the year. Uh, generally, resolutions last about three weeks, yeah. uh, and that's actually a, a fact that they, they've they've you know done in interviews and all that. That about three weeks after someone makes a resolution. So if I say to myself, well, for Lent I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do it, I find that I'm setting myself up for failure. Yeah. So if I wait for some opportunities that, that, that God gives me, yeah. then I do those. Yeah. Uh, and, I'm, you know, I try to do the, you know, the like eating fish on Friday. Yeah. That's automatic. We do that year-round anyway, so that's automatic. Yes. Yeah. So I don't have to. I don't have to worry about you know setting myself up for failure on that one. Yeah. Although, although every once in a while I forget it's Friday. <laughs> Until uh, uh, so sometimes it kind of has a sense of humor, and, he, and he, you know, it's like I'll, I'll have something in the morning. I'm like, like oh, around two, uh, one o'clock. A lot of times it's at one o'clock just before the mass starts. I say to myself, Oh shoot, today's Friday. And last week, and I, and I last had, week I had a thought, breakfast sandwich. He thought Thursday was Friday. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So he mean, went to the store. He calls me up. He says, "I'm gonna. I'm, I'm at the store." He says, "I'm gonna pick up some fish for tonight." And I said, "It's Thursday today, Carl." <laughs> he goes, "Oh, okay." He says, "I thought I had messed up because I had eaten. A, he had eaten a meat sandwich for lunch." Well, what he happened, thought he had I, messed up. Okay. Well, I hadn't. It I had, was for bre for breakfast. Yeah. For breakfast, but I hadn't thought. Well, it wasn't me that messed up. I was actually upset because I had ordered a sandwich without the meat. Okay. It was only Thursday, but I thought it was Friday. Okay. And when I got back to my truck, I opened it up. And it had meat in it. And it had meat in it. And I'm like, oh, man, he messed, my, messed up my sandwich. Well, I had a, 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 an appointment at a specific time. I'm like, I can't go back in and change this. I should have just not eaten it. But... I said, well, I got to eat something before I go to my next job. So I was eating it kind of like upset with, with him and then upset with myself. And then I called Peggy that on my way home. It was like, what, 6 o'clock? And I, from the store, and I, I tell her that, that story she just said that I was, you know, I was getting right, I was at the store that she needed anything else. I'm picking up some fish for tonight. And she says it's Thursday. So I spent the whole day worrying about having that sandwich yeah. and being mad at that guy for making a mistake. Did you go apologize to him? Uh, <laughs> uh, so sometimes the guy has a sense of humor. Uh, you try you try to, and that's, again, that's why I don't set myself up like that because I know I'm setting myself up for failure. Yes. With these thoughts uh, that Jesus has revealed that Father and I are one, we are united in thoughts, hearts, mind and soul. In the same way, we as a Christians are called to be united with God and with our neighbors. Um, 
and ask for God's grace that to, if we can forgive people from our hearts and to reconcile with one another, we can always be united with one another as the Father and Son are united. Let us pray for unity in our families, in our community, the nations. You know, we pray for the country that are in the war. We pray for Ukraine and Russia, that people may uh, see the end of war soon and uh, have peace in their hearts. For this and for all the prayers we have, let us pray to the Father. God, our loving Father, we pray that through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, we come to know you. We have an opportunity to pray to you. Lord, Jesus set an example for us. By being united with you, he always worked along with you. Give us a heart of humility that we will always be united in prayer. We will always listen to you and follow your directions in our lives. Lord, today in a special way, we humbly request you to bless the Berniers family and also the Sousa family. Lord, bless them, protect them, bless their children, grandchildren, all their dear and near ones. Keep them safe always. Grant them good health of mind, body and spirit. Let them know how much they are being loved by God. Let them know that you are always in their lives, being there to care for them. We also ask you to bless all our parishioners and friends. And we ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Merci beaucoup. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Very welcome, Father. Thank you. It's we thank you. We thank you for coming and, and <laughs> sharing your time with us.